coming in at the top of the bulletin amid the push for opposition unity in the wake of the ordinance face-off between the center and the Aam Aadmi Party. The Congress Party has said it has not taken any decision on the issue. It will consult its state units and other like-minded parties on the same. Congress leader K.C. Venugopal tweeted, and I quote, the party believes in the rule of law and at the same time does not condone unnecessary confrontation, political witch hunt and campaigns based on lies against political opponents in any political party. That's the piece of break news that's coming in from K.C. Venugopal. Congress taking a very neutral stand when it comes to the ordinance face-off. I'm joined by Pallavi Ghosh on the phone line who tracks the Congress party. Pallavi, how should we see this uh, remark coming in from K.C. Venugopal on Twitter? Will this cast a shadow on this entire campaign that is being led by Nitish Kumar to bring the opposition together? Palavi, can you hear me? That's the pitch coming in. We'll try to reconnect with Palavi over there. But that's the pitch coming in from the Congress party amid this push for opposition unity in the wake of that ordinance face of Remember Nitish Kumar meeting Arvind Kejriwal, also talking about the opposition needing to come together when it comes to taking on the might of the BJP. Now, KC Venugopal has uh, tweeted and he has said that the uh, Congress party has said it has not taken any decision on the issue. It will consult its state units and other like-minded parties on the same. Congress leader KC Venugopal has tweeted and he also added in that tweet, the party believes in the rule of law and at the same time does not condone unnecessary confrontation, political witch hunt and campaigns based on lies against political opponents by any political party. This is coming in as Nitesh Kumar is leading that charge there, those visuals on your screen of his meeting with uh, Delhi Chief Minister and Aam Aadmi Party convener Arvind Kejriwal pushing for that united opposition front. Uh, Pallavi is back with us on the phone. Pallavi, how should we read the statement coming in from the Congress Party? I think it just explains the contradiction and just shows the contradiction which is taking place as far as one, the concept of opposition unity is concerned and the Congress's push for this unity after the Karnataka elections. The problem is that sometime in the afternoon, there were suggestions which were coming in that the Congress Party would actually, along with TMC and Nitish Kumar, support the Amarbi Party inside Parliament when this ordinance is, has to be put on the floor of the House to make it into a law. But obviously, there was a lot of resistance from the local units. I mean, senior Congress leaders like Ajay Markar and Sandeep Dixit are believed to have raised an objection to it because they've seen the main reason why the Congress is losing Punjab and in many other states is because the AAP is cutting into Congress votes. If we hear you support the Amazi party, it's definitely going to be suicidal. Interestingly, Ayushman, almost every opposition party was invited for the oath ceremony in Bengaluru except the Amazi party. So it's a very nuanced, cautious tweet. One hand, Casey Venugopal seems to be suggesting that we do not target political, we cannot support political witch hunt being a victim of it themselves, according to a Congress. But on the other hand, the state unit's point of view also becomes very important, which clearly is not in favor of Congress supporting ARP inside Parliament. Right. Thank you, Pallavi, for getting us that piece of breaking news.